Léon Joseph Marie Ignace de Grel, French, DGL, the 15th of June 1906 to the 31st of March 1994, was a Belgian politician and Nazi collaborator. De Grel rose to prominence in the 1930s as the leader of the Catholic authoritarian Rigsist party in Belgium. During the German occupation in World War II, he enlisted in the German army and fought in the Walloon Legion on the Eastern Front. After the collapse of the Nazi regime, de Grel went into exile in Francoist Spain where he remained a prominent figure in neo-Nazi politics. Before the war After studying at a Jesuit college and studying for a law doctorate at the Université Catholique de Louvain, de Grel worked as a journalist for the conservative Roman Catholic periodical Christus Rex. During his time at this publication, he became attracted to the ideas of Charles Maurras and French integralism. Until 1934, de Grel worked as a correspondent for the paper in Mexico, during the Cristero War. He led a radical group inside the Catholic Party, based on the Editions de Rex publishing house. The Editions drew its name from the battle cry of the Cristeros, Viva Cristo Rey y Santa Maria de Guadalupe, alluding to Christ the King. De Grel's actions inside the Catholic Party saw him come into opposition with the mainstream of the same party, many of whom were monarchist conservatives or centrists. The Riggsist group, including the likes of Jean Denis, separated itself from the Catholic Party in 1935, after a meeting in Courtrecht. The newly formed party was heavily influenced by fascism and corporatism but also included several elements interested solely in nationalism or ultramontanism. It had a vision of social equality that drew comparisons with Marxism but was staunchly anti-communist anti-Bolshevik. The party also came to denounce political corruption in Belgian politics. In 1936, in which Rex reached peak votes, it drew its support from Brussels 18.50%, Wallonia 15.16%, Flanders 7.01%, and Eupen Malmedy 26.44%. Rexism had a Flemish ideological competitor in the Vlaams National Verbond which advocated an independent Flanders and exclusive use of the Dutch language. In 1936, de Grel met Benito Mussolini and Adolf Hitler, both of them providing Rexism with funds 2 million lire and 100,000 marks and ideological support. Elections in that year had given the party Rexiste 21 deputies and 12 senators, although its influence declined by 1939 when it managed to win only four seats in each chamber. The party progressively added Nazi-inspired antisemitism to its agenda, and soon established contacts with fascist movements around Europe. De Grel notably met with Falange leader José Antonio Primo de Rivera and the Iron Guards Cornelia Zalia Codrianu. During this time mid -1930s, de Grel became acquainted with the cartoonist Hergé. In a volume published after his death Tintin Mon Copain, the Riggsist leader claimed that his years of journalism had inspired the creation of the adventures of Tintin—ignoring Hergé's statements that the character was in fact based on his brother, Paul Remy. De Grel had been shipping Mexican newspapers containing American cartoons to Belgium, and Hergé did admit years later in 1975 that de Grel deserved credit for introducing him to the comic. Strip. Collaboration When the war began, de Grel approved of King Leopold III's policy of neutrality. After the Germans invaded Belgium on 10 May 1940, the Riggsist party split over the matter of resistance. He was arrested as a suspected collaborator and evacuated to France. Unlike other Belgian deportees, de Grel was spared in the massacre of Abbeville and instead sent into a French concentration camp. He was later released when the occupation began. De Grel returned to Belgium and proclaimed reconstructed Rexism to be in close union with Nazism, in marked contrast with the small group of former Riggsists such as Theo Simon and Lucien Mayer who had begun fighting against the Nazi occupiers from the underground. In August, de Grel started contributing to a Nazi news source, Le Pays Rail, a reference to Charles Morris. De Grel joined the Walloon Legion of the Wehrmacht, which was raised in August 1941, to fight against the Soviet Union on the Eastern Front. The leadership of the Riggsists then passed to Victor Mathies. Lacking any previous military service, de Grel joined as a private and was awarded the Iron Cross Second Class in March 1942. 
He quickly rose upwards in the ranks becoming a lieutenant in May 1942 and received the Iron Cross First Class the same month. Initially, the group was meant to represent a continuation of the Belgian Army, and fought as such during Operation Barbarossa, while integrating many Walloons that had volunteered for service. The Walloons were transferred from the Wehrmacht to the Waffen-SS in June 1943, becoming the Sturmbrigade Wallonian and served on the Eastern Front. From 1940, the Belgian Roman Catholic hierarchy had banned all uniforms during Mass. On 25 July 1943, in his native Bouillon, de Grel was told by Dean Rev Ponsolet to leave a requiem mass, because he was wearing his SS uniform, which church authorities had prohibited. De Grel was excommunicated by the Bishop of Namur, but the excommunication was later lifted by the Germans since as a German officer he was under the jurisdiction of the German chaplaincy. After being wounded at Cherkasy in 1943, de Grel continued to climb the SS hierarchy after the inclusion of Walloons in the Waffen SS. During the Battle of the Corson Cherkasy Pocket, fought from 24 January to 16 February 1944, the Wallonian was given the task of defending against Soviet attacks on the eastern side of the pocket. While General Wilhelm Stemmermann, the overall commander for the trapped forces, moved them to the west of the pocket in readiness for a breakout attempt, Wallonian and Viking were ordered to act as a rearguard. After Lippert was killed, de Grel took command of the brigade, and the Wallonian began its withdrawal under heavy fire. Of the brigade's 2,000 men, only 632 survived. For his actions at Corson, de Grel was promoted to SS Sturmbannführer Major. He was awarded the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross by Hitler in February 1944. De Grel later claimed Hitler told him, You are truly unique in history. You are a political leader who fights like a soldier. If I had a son, I would want him to be like you. Six months later de Grel was awarded the Knight's Cross with oak leaves, as were seven other non-Germans, the unit was sent back to Wild Flecken to be reformed. In June 1944, a 440-man battalion of the Wallonian was sent to Estonia to assist in the defence of the Tannenberg Line. After Operation Bagration began, Army Group North began to fall back into the Kurland pocket. The battalion left through the port of Tallinn on the Baltic Sea. The remnants of the battalion were sent back to join the rest of the brigade, which was located at Breslau. On 8 July 1944 de Grel's brother Edouard, a pharmacist, was killed in de Grel's hometown of Bouillon by Belgian resistance fighters. Shortly afterwards, a Riggsist hit squad executed pharmacist Henry Charles. A few days later, three civilian hostages were executed, apparently on de Grel's orders as all three were known to be his political enemies. He commanded Sturmbrigade Wallonian from 18 September 1944 to 8 May 1945. He led the unit in the defense of Estonia against the Soviets. He was promoted to SS Obersturmbannführer Lieutenant Colonel in the early months of 1945. De Grel was promoted to SS Standartenführer Colonel on 20 April 1945. On 1 May 1945, de Grel was promoted by SS Reichsführer Heinrich Himmler to Brigadeführer Brigadier General. This promotion, however, was extra-legal due to Himmler having been removed from office on Hitler's orders on 28 April. De Grel was wounded in action seven times during the war and received the Wound Badge First Class and the Gold Close Combat Clasp. Awards. <laughs> 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 27 August 1944 Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross with Oak Leaves as SS Sturmbannführer D. R. and K. D. R. 5. SS Freiwilligen Panzer Brigade. Wallonian. Kampfgruppe Wagner, Erme Abteilung Narwa, Army Group North. 20 February 1944 Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross as SS Hauptsturmfuhrer D. R. and Fuhrer SS Sturmbrigade. Wallonian. 8. Erme, Army Group South. 9 October 1944 German Cross in Gold as SS Sturmbannführer D. R. and K. D. R. 5. SS Freiwilligen Sturmbrigade. Wallonian. 5. SS Panzer Division. Viking. 3. Germanisch SS Panzer Corps. Erme Abteilung Grasser. Army Group North. 25 May 1942 Iron Cross. First Class. 3 March 1942 Iron Cross. Second Class. War Merit Cross, 2nd Class Wound Badge, 1st Class Gold Close Combat Clasp 
August 1942 Infantry Assault Badge Eastern Front Medal Topic Promotions Schutz Rifleman here the 3rd of March 1942 Lieutenant Lieutenant here May 1942 Untersturmführer Lieutenant Waffen SS June 1943 Hauptsturmführer Captain Waffen SS the 1st of January 1944 Sturmbannführer Major Waffen SS the 20th of April 1944 Obersturmbannführer Lieutenant Colonel Waffen SS C January 1945 Standardtenführer Colonel Waffen SS the 20th of April 1945 Topic: Refuge and scandals. With the final surrender of Berlin in May 2, 1945, de Grelle was desperate to avoid Russian captivity and ordered as many of his worn-out veterans as possible to make for the Baltic port of Lübeck to surrender to the British. De Grelle himself fled first to Denmark and then Norway, where he commandeered a Heinkel He 111 aircraft, allegedly provided by Albert Speer. After a 1,500-mile flight over portions of Allied-occupied Europe, he crash-landed on the beach at San Sebastian in northern Spain but was gravely wounded and hospitalized for over a year. In 1954, in order to ensure his stay, Spain granted him Spanish citizenship under the name José Leon Ramírez Reina, and the Falange assigned him the leadership of a construction firm that benefited from state contracts, including with the U.S. government to build military airfields in Spain. Meanwhile, friends scoured Europe for his children. In time, all were found and spirited to Spain. While in Francoist Spain, de Grelle maintained a high standard of living and would frequently appear in public and private meetings in a white uniform featuring his German decorations, while expressing his pride over his close contacts and thinking bond with Adolf Hitler. He continued to live undisturbed when Spain transitioned to democracy after the death of Franco and continued publishing polemics, voicing his support for the political far right. He became active in the neo-Nazi Circulo Español de Amigos de Europa and ran its printing press in Barcelona, where he published a large portion of his writings, including an open letter to Pope John Paul II on the topic of the Auschwitz concentration camp, asking the Pope not to go. His repeated statements on the topic of Nazi genocide brought de Grel to trial with Violeta Friedman, a Romanian-born survivor of the camps. Although lower courts were initially favorable to de Grelle, the Supreme Court of Spain decided he had offended the memory of the victims, both Jews and non-Jews, and sentenced him to pay a substantial fine. Asked if he had any regrets about the war, his reply was, "...only that we lost." <laughs> Death In 1994, Léon de Grelle died of cardiac arrest in a hospital in Malaga. <laughs> <laughs> Works by de Grelle M.E.'s Aventure au Mexique in French. Paris, Editions Rex, 1933, Mina Abenteuer in Mexico in German, translated by Charlotte Demig. Augsburg, Literarisches Institut P. Haas, 1937. J'accuse Marcel Henri Jasper, Mentures, Pillard et Fossaire in French. Bruxelles, Editions Rex, 1936. Etat de Mie in French. Bruxelles, Editions Rex, 1938. Guerre en prison, Orlog acteur de Trailies in Dutch. Brussels, Uite Beverage Ignis, 1942. Ich war Geffengener in German. Nuremberg, Hesperos Verlag, 1944. Feldpost. Bruxelles, Editions Rex, 1944, Feldpost. Erpi, de Kriger, 2007. ISBN 9789058681867. La Cohue de 1940. Lausanne, R. Croix, 1949. Hitler pour 1000 ans. Paris, La Table Ronde. 1969, Hitler pour 1000 ans Memorias de un fascista in Spanish. Barcelona, Ediciones Bau, 1975. ISBN 8485156137. Chile a cronia Chitler in Greek. 
Athens, Lund 2002 and Chitler Gia 1000 Cronia. Athens, Nea Genia 2018. ISBN 9786188357952. Front Delay, 1941–1945, Paris, La Table Ronde, 1969, Campaign in Russia, The Waffen-SS on the Eastern Front 1st English Language ed. Torrance, C.A., Institute for Historical Review, 1985. ISBN 0939484188. Campaign in Russia, The Waffen-SS on the Eastern Front. Bristol, Cressy Books, 1985. ISBN 0-947554-04-1. The Eastern Front, Memoirs of a Waffen-SS Volunteer, 1941-1945 Second English Language, Edited and Reset ed., Newport Beach, CA, Institute for Historical Review, 2014. ISBN 9780939484768. Campaign in Russia, the Waffen SS on the Eastern Front. Face a face avec le Rexism in French. Strombeek Bever, Editions. De Chorpion. 1971, OOG in OOG met de Rex Leiter face to face with the Rex leader in Dutch. Stombeck Bever, UI Beverage de Chorpion, 1971. Danau, Vim. 1973. Ansi par le Leon de Grel, 1 12. Wemmel, Editions. Byblos. Lettre à mon cardinal Léon de Grel. Message aux Belges par auto Scorzini in French. Bruxelles, L'Europe Réelle. 1975. Franco chef d'état in French. Brain le Comte, Editions du Bowens, 1976. ISBN 2801900117. Poems. Paris, Art et Histoire d'Europe, 1985. ISBN 2906026000X. Léon de Grel, Persiste et Signe, Interviews, Riquilis pour la Télévision Française par Jean-Michel Charlier, Paris, J. Picolec, 1985. ISBN 2864770687. Hitler, Né à Versailles, in French, 1 3, Paris, Art et Histoire d'Europe, 1986. ISBN 2906026085. Hitler Democrat. Le siècle de Hitler, 4 in French, 1 to 3. Paris, Aide, de l'homme libre. 2002. ISBN 2912104196. X. Hitler Democrat. Washington, D.C., Barnes Review, 2012. ISBN 9781937786. Hitler Gia, 1945. Le de Hitler, 6. In French, Paris, Aide, de l'homme libre. 2006. ISBN 2912104196. Hitler Gia, 1945. Hitler Gia, 1945. Hitler Gia, 1945. ISBN 2950709117